It's the Tome Show. Science is easy when the Tome Show does it. Transposable elements or transposons are jumping genes named for their ability to move to another position in the genome. There are two classes of transposable elements, each with unique ways of moving. One is the retrotransposon, and the other is a DNA transposon. First, the retrotransposon gets itself copied. There are two genetic languages, DNA and RNA. You can think of DNA as the main blueprint of life, while RNA is the messenger of life, carrying the blueprint to other parts of the cell. The retrotransposon gets the help of the enzyme RNA polymerase to be transcribed or copied into RNA. But the problem is, if the retrotransposon is to be inserted into a new region of DNA, it can't be in RNA. It needs to be in DNA. So the RNA is reverse transcribed into DNA using reverse transcriptase. Now the copied DNA must be pasted into the new part of the genome. Please bear in mind that it is not yet fully understood how the copied DNA is pasted. The target site is where the new copy is inserted. The enzyme integrase cuts the target site making staggered breaks or cuts at opposite ends. The retrotransposon is finally pasted in. The remaining gaps are repaired by replicating the DNA on opposite sides using DNA polymerase. Another enzyme called DNA ligase glues the segments together. And that's how the retrotransposon is copied and pasted into a new region of the genome. And what's more interesting about this transposable element is that it is very similar to a type of virus called the retrovirus. An example of a retrovirus is HIV. Now can it be any easier or sweeter? 